April 8th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, some new things out of Japan today. Of course, we had the 7.1 earthquake. Uh, it's official. I started off when I first saw it, there was two of them. Boom, boom. But they, you know, what the USGS does. So it's official 7.1. Um, several quakes after that. I think one as big as 5.4 aftershocks in the region. Uh, there are videos out on that I will attach. Three more nuclear power plants in um, Japan have uh, lost power. Two of them are an emergency diesel um, providing coolant to reactors that have already been shut down since the 11th, but you got to understand this stuff, you just can't turn it off. Uh, the fuel rods need cooled and all of that. And the third one, um, I believe two out of three of the main power sources bringing in the power lines coming into the plant uh, went down and they're running on one power line to cool three reactors. But they say everything's under control. Um, but again, here we go. We've got three more uh, nuclear power plants in crisis. So that's about it out of Japan today. Uh, again, the news blackout is pretty thick, and they're not really getting a lot of anything out of there. Uh, I'd like to know where are the Japanese YouTubers besides the one French guy. Let's go over to uh, EarthChangesScott.net. Dead dolphins spotted with oil washing up on Louisiana shores. New Orleans, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, says that eight months after the Deepwater Horizon oil was capped, dolphins are washing ashore in East Louisiana with some oil that spilled, that spilled on their bodies. Uh, and it goes on, and they're saying the last time they found one with confirmed BP oil was two weeks ago. And uh, they continue to say that the, the fish in the Gulf of Mexico is safe to eat. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, U.S. forecast holds for busy storm season. Uh, the Colorado State University hurricane. Um, Prograstination team has slightly lowered its prediction for this season. On Wednesday, William Gray and Phil blah 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 dropped 17 to 16 the number of named storms of tropical strength or higher they expect will form uh, in the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico this year. Uh, as you remember, not one hurricane hit the coast, uh, the southeast coast of the United States last year. It just seems like they all got pushed away. Montana, U.S. winter storm warning issue for Billings region. Uh, the National Weather Service in Billings has issued a winter storm warning for heavy snow from noon Thursday at 3 p.m. on f on Friday. Rain and snow showers uh, Thursday morning are expected to become more widespread and change to snow by the afternoon. Snow, which will be heavy at times, will continue overnight and early Friday, then decrease Friday afternoon. So again, snow, snow, snow. Uh, it's springtime in America, upper Montana. Um, the official scientist La Nina weakening below average rain sea f seen for the United States South. And of course we've already had that, that drought going on in, in uh, Texas and Oklahoma. And uh, So now the La, La Nina weather anomaly blamed for the devastating floods in Australia will keep weakening in the coming months, the U.S. Climate Prediction Center predicted on Thursday. In a monthly report, the agency said a majority of the weather computer modules show that the return of neutral conditions by May to June 2011, while forecasts for late summer and beyond, remained highly uncertain. So they don't know. They're just guessing. Strong winds, gust, and heavy rain shower western Cuba. Storms associated with a weak cold front cause strong winds and heavy rains in the western region of Cuba, particularly in the north coast. Gusts higher than 100 kilometers an hour reported in different sites. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So Cuba's reporting bad weather. Um, again, Japan had the earthquake with the tsunami warning that didn't happen. 
Out of Australia, rats scurry to desert in mass after rains. They've been having all these floodings uh, in, the, in the, the northern part of Australia, basically the entire east half of Australia and the west. So anyway, these rats are uh, fleeing and they're just taking over the place. The rats are unlikely to stay in the desert for long, they say. Uh, United States blizzard roars through snow-weary midsection. A second powerful blizzard in a week roared through the parts of the nation's midsection on Wednesday, bringing biting winds and dumping more than a foot of snow in areas still digging out from last week's major storm. Uh, as the system barreled through the plains towards the deep south, it blanketed parts of northeastern Oklahoma under a new layer of snow, dropping 16 inches on the town of uh, Pawaska and 14 inches on nearby Ucha and more than a foot on the town of Bartlesville, officials said. And uh, that's a lot of snow. And that's south of me. Um, thousands in Nashville still without power after three, na three tornadoes hit on Monday. They are still digging out from the two severe storms ago. The extinction protocol. Uh, deep tremors shake large dormant volcano in Iceland. Uh, this is another volcano that uh, only the Icelandics can uh, pronounce. Uh, Hofstakil volcano. Uh, apparently, um, this volcano has never erupted during recorded history. Uh, they have, over the last 10 years, noticed increased seismic activity. And uh, they put out a story not too long ago that dormant volcanoes can reactivate rather quickly, a lot quicker than they think. So it's just kind of another uh, heads-up story out of Iceland. Worms rain down from cloudless sky in uh, Galashiels, Scotland. A PE class had to run for cover as it started raining worms. Uh, the teacher was leading a group of pupils playing football um, when dozens of invertebrates began plummeting from the sky. Uh, the 22nd year boys had an abandoned their lesson. Uh, you know, kids were running out of the way, that kind of thing. Where did they explain what happened? The incident is believed to have been caused by a freak weather over a nearby river lifting water and worms and dumping it over the road. Similar events were recorded in 1872 in Somerville, Massachusetts, 1877, uh, in Christina, Norway, and in 1924 in Helmstead, Sweden. Uh, in July 2007, a woman was crossing the road in Louisiana when large clumps of tangled worms dropped from above. So uh, it's raining worms in Scotland. And finally today, we have uh, on the watchers, they have the Australian rat migration story, of, of course, and then huge asteroid 2005 YU55 to pass near Earth in November. Mark your calendars for an impressive, an impressive and upcoming flyby of an asteroid that's one of the larger potentially perilous space rocks in the heavens in terms of smacking the Earth in the future. Uh, it, it's the case of asteroid 2005 YU-55, a round mini-world that is about 400 meters, 1300 feet in diameter, and in early November the asteroid will approach Earth at a scant 0.85 lunar distances, so it will, become be, it will come between the Moon and the Earth. I will attach the link below, of course. Uh, if I missed anything, please let me know, of course, until I see you again. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.